In this video, I'm going to show you how you can create some really unique video effects using Higgsfield AI. I'll show you my favourite effects and how you can use them in creative ways, plus much more. Ok, let's get into it. So Higgsfield AI has been around for a while now. They specialise in creating really unique cinematic shots for your AI videos. So as you can see here, they have over 50 templates, all which have different movements. And if you hover over them, it will say what the shot is. There are loads to play around with. What's great about this is the simplicity. You give it an image, choose one of these really cinematic shots, and it will give your image that cinematic look to it. So just a quick note here, after I had recorded and edited this video, Higgsfield AI released a new feature, where you can add a start and end frame to create your videos. This won't change what you learn in this video, but I thought I'll just mention it now. The start and end frame is only available for Pro and Ultimate users though. Ok, back to the video. The first effect I'm going to look at is the bullet time effect. I'm guessing everyone here knows this shot by now, it was made famous by the Matrix films with Neo dodging bullets. To create this shot in real life, it is pretty time consuming and you need a lot of cameras. So I was intrigued to see how well Higgsfield AI generates bullet time shots. So here you can see there's loads of different examples, but I've already filmed loads of videos that I want to add the bullet time effect to. So to start off, I've got this video of me pouring some red wine into a glass. I wanted to see if I could get the camera to move around as I'm pouring this wine to create a kind of frozen in time or slow motion shot, which you see in a lot of films nowadays. So to get the best results for this kind of shot, I recommend shooting in 120 frames per second with a high shutter speed. Most smartphones nowadays can shoot up to I think 240 frames per second. The reason I do this is so that I can select that frame as it's pouring out and I wanted to try and get that liquid as crystal clear as possible, as if I shot this in 24 frames per second, the liquid would be quite blurry as I'm pouring it out. So all you have to do is go to create and then video. So I've took this still frame out of the video and I've uploaded it into Higgsfield. And then here you choose your effect and you just click change to choose any of the presets here. Then in the prompt I've put bullet time shot, the camera circles around the red wine liquid coming out of the bottle. If you use enhance on, it will just elaborate your prompt and add a bit more detail to it. Which can be good, but sometimes it adds in unnecessary things that you don't want in the video. So for this one I'll go off, and you get three different models to choose from. I usually stick to the turbo mode as it's quicker, and I believe it may be a bit cheaper than the other models. So let's check out the result. And I'm pretty blown away with how it looks. It's got a really nice kind of bullet time shot going around the wine being poured out. What's really impressive is the liquid simulation coming out and hitting the glass. It looks very, very realistic. The only downside is the 5 second limit, but this is quite a new website so hopefully they add longer duration in the future. But what you can do is take this footage and slow it down to make it longer if you want to. So here's a version of it which I have ran through Topaz Video AI, stitched in with the original footage. So definitely do that if you want to extend the shot a bit longer. And here's another version where I'm pouring a beer into a glass. And again, it knocks it out of the park. And even starts filling up the glass with beer as the camera rotates around. And here's me playing around with some random objects using the bullet time feature. Now this one is quite dangerous so don't try it at home, but it's me touching a very sharp knife and then I get a shock and drop the knife. I grabbed this still frame from where I want the bullet time effect to start. And I'm really happy with how it turned out. This video has created a weird floating knife in the shot. And here's some other versions. And they all look pretty good even though the knife is just floating there. I could probably prompt it to drop the knife, but I actually think the effect that it made is quite unique and looks pretty cool. And it looks really good when stitched in with the original footage. Now just a note, if you download the videos from Higgsfield and want to stitch it in with your original footage, you may have to do some colour correction as Higgsfield for some reason applies a different tone to the videos. It is quite a subtle colour shift, but it is noticeable when you put them against each other. And here I am throwing up a lemon into the air, and I prompted it with bullet time shot, time stands still, the camera circles around the yellow lemon. 
make sure to add into the prompt what you want the camera to circle around. And it looks incredible. What I really like about this one is that it focuses on the lemon and then defocuses my face in the shot, which I think is a really nice creative touch. This bullet time shot works really well if you want to kind of advertise a product as well. So here's me holding a Fijoa fruit, which is very popular in New Zealand. If you haven't had it, it is quite a unique taste. But as you can see, it does a really nice wrap around shot around the fruit. I think it just looks really unique. And here I'm advertising one of my favorite peanut butters. And again, it does a really nice wrap around video of the jar. I would definitely use this kind of shot if I was creating a kind of product video, say. And here's one of me stretching my back and wrapping around, kind of similar to the Neo shot in the Matrix. But mine is a lot less cool. I've been really impressed with the kind of shots that you can get with this bullet time effect, so definitely check it out. If you're enjoying this video, please make sure to like it and subscribe to our channels for more videos like this. Okay, back to the video. Now let's have a look at the punch effect. This effect is very weird and you probably wouldn't use it in most use cases, but it can definitely help in creating a viral looking video. So for this one, I filmed myself drinking a cup of coffee and I wanted to see if I could get something to hit me in the face and create the cup of coffee to spill everywhere. I've added in the image of me sipping the coffee and added the face punch effect in. For this one, I'm going to add enhance prompt on and see what it creates. I've generated the video and this is the prompt that it created. So as you can see, it's quite comprehensive and it's added a lot of information into the prompt. Yeah, it's definitely way more than I would have put in. So let's have a look at the video. And it's done a pretty good job. The coffee spills out in a really realistic way. For some reason, coffee comes out of my head as well as soon as the fist hits me. But overall, it looks pretty good. And here's one where I prompted it to hit me with a boxing glove. I really love the physics on these videos. As when the glove comes in contact with my head, you can see my cap deforms slightly, the ripples in my skin, and the deformation of my face is very realistic of what I would imagine a slow motion punch to be. And then the coffee comes out of the mug, and yeah, it's disturbing, but it looks pretty good. And here's another version, but with a red boxing glove. So you definitely get a lot of customization in the prompt. And you can get pretty wild with what you want to get hit with. So here's another video of me after I've enjoyed my cup of coffee, and then I rudely get hit by a giant tentacle. And while it's super gross, I think it does a really good job with the tentacle physics. And the tentacle even looks wet and slimy. It's pretty gross. And in this one, I asked it to break my teeth as I get hit by a wrecking ball. And it doesn't quite look like teeth. It just looks like I've got bits of cheese flying out of my mouth. And here's a bowling ball with some really impressive looking physics on the face again. And this one is pretty cool. It's a giant robot hand smashing my face. What's interesting about this one is the realistic looking reflections in the metal ball. As you can see, it does kind of match what the reflections I think would look like in this ball, which is pretty impressive. And then as it hits me, you can see it's cracked on the surface of the ball as well. So there's definitely a lot of really cool physics and simulation work going on with these videos. Even though it looks like it hurts, it's uh, yeah, pretty impressive. And in this video, I'm just sitting outside, minding my own business, and all of a sudden, a giant wooden hammer comes and smacks me across the face. It's not something you would expect while you're just relaxing. And here's some other objects that I get hit with. Now let's have a look at the disintegration effect. This is an effect that has been done loads of times before, but I think Higgsfield is really good at it. So I've got the shot of me sitting outside, and I've added in the disintegration effect. For this one, I prompted it with that man is sitting outside, and then he disintegrates into flames. And I made sure to have the enhance on, so Higgsfield has altered that initial prompt I gave it with a bit more detail. And the resulting video looks pretty cool. So as you can see, it creates a flaming disintegration effect. 
I just think it has a really nice look to it. And even at the end I flip over the page, which I never asked it to, but it's a nice little touch. And here's an alternative take, but without the fiery version of it. And what's really cool is you can choose certain elements to be disintegrated while keeping others in the shot. So for this one I've got some stock footage of a woman holding a cat, and I made sure to put into the prompt disintegrate the cat only. And it did a really good job at just disintegrating the cat while keeping the woman in the shot. I just think it does a really good job at the disintegration particle effect. Now let's have a look at explosion effects. So explosions have been around in AI VFX for a while, but again I really like how Higgs fields add explosions into the shot. So I've got the shot of me sitting outside, and I've chose the building explosion effect. Higgs field have two explosion preset effects, one is car explosion and the other one is building explosion. Now you don't have to use it with a building in the shot, as long as you add into the prompt where you want the explosion it will add it in, without having to have a building within your image. So for this one I prompted it to have an explosion behind the man sitting in the garden, I did keep enhanced prompt on so they have added a bit more detail into the prompt. And I think the video looks pretty sweet. Even though on this one it does flip my hat off and gives me some crazy looking hair, but I really do love the explosion that's happening behind me. And here's a shot of me while I was at a castle in Warwick, and it gets a bit crazy. And here's me inspecting my house as it's about to explode. And again it does a fantastic job at creating a really cool looking explosion. And again my house just seems prone to explosions as this doorway scene is pretty insane. These might be small clips, but I'm sure if you've got a project you could do some really cool effects and sneak them in at the end of your shots. And here's some examples using the car explosion effect. So I've got this video of me getting inside of my car, but then all of a sudden, my car explodes. It's weird as it manages to blow the door off and then all of a sudden the door appears again, but other than that I think it's a really cool looking explosion. And here's another one of me looking at the car as it explodes. Another cool thing is they allow you to mix effects in one video. So we've talked about the explosion and disintegration, now let's have a look at mixing them together. So again, using that shot of me outside, all of a sudden, huge explosion behind me, and then it vaporizes me. And I think it looks awesome. I really like the kind of panicked look that it creates on my face as I realize there's a huge explosion going on behind me. And yeah, just looks really cool. And here's another mix that I did with the bullet time and disintegration. So using that wine shot from earlier, as you can see the camera wraps around, and the wine starts to disintegrate at the end. I wish it was a little bit longer as I think it was looking really good. And then this one, as I get hit with the bowling ball, I just start to disintegrate. And this one was a bit weird, I asked a gorilla to hit me, and then disintegrate me, but it kind of turns me into leaves for some reason. And here as I'm stretching my back, I just start to fall apart. Now there are loads of other cool effects that you can create using Higgs field, so here's just a few quick examples of other effects I think that are really unique. Now this one is called through object out, and it's pretty unique as the camera will go out, and you can choose the camera to go through any object. So kind of like those shots in films that you've seen where the camera zooms out and they go through like a glass window or something, you can choose it to do that. So in this one I prompted it for me to be on a TV, and it kind of did a weird thing with me being on a screen and then adding in some weird footage on a TV screen, but this one I thought was incredible. It goes through a kind of garden fence with loads of foliage, and I just really like the look that it created. They also have a through in shot as well, which I haven't really tested yet. And here's an effect called Dirty Lens, which pretty much dirties the lens up with whatever you want. So I've got the footage of me drinking a cup of coffee, and I prompted it for me to cough up coffee over the screen. And while it's pretty disgusting, I think it does a really good job at creating that effect. 
They have one called Mouth In, which does exactly what you think, it zooms into the mouth. I don't know where I would use this kind of shot, but it's there if you need it. <laughs> the Lazy Susan effect I think is really creative. So I got this footage of me pretending to sleep, and then I created an image of a cinema seat and put myself in it, and Higgsfield created this. I think it does a great job at creating a visually interesting shot, and yeah, I could definitely see this being used for some really creative looking videos. And here we have the lens crack effect, which emulates a kind of gunshot or hit to the camera with the lens cracking. So here I've got a video of me holding a plastic toy screwdriver, and I've put myself in a kind of grimy alleyway. And I think the video <laughs> looks awesome, and I think it does a really good job at emulating a lens crack effect. And make sure to check out Higgsfield's iconic scenes, where they've picked some of the most famous scenes from movie history, and you get to change the characters and style of the scene. It's pretty fun. And here are the different plans you can use with Higgsfield. And what's good is that they have a free trial version, so I would definitely check that out if you're wanting to test it out. So those are just a few of my favourite effects in Higgsfield. I hope I've showed you a few ways on how you can use them to create some unique videos, and there's so much more that they have to offer, and I urge you to test them out. Now let me know if you have any tips or tricks with using Higgsfield, and make sure to leave a comment down below. I know you guys will be able to create way better content than I've been making, but I hope you've enjoyed the video. Make sure to give us a like, subscribe to our channel if you haven't already, for more videos like this. Thank you so much for watching, my name is Jack, and I will see you in the next one.